protection. Thank you so much for tuning and tapping in to Higher Frequencies Portal. My name is Q and I am here to do a general reading for the collective. So whomever you are, if you felt compelled to cook click play uh then that means that this message is here for you that means that you were sent here by your higher self your divine spirit team uh so we're going to tap in tune in i'm not going to do too much talking uh i want to welcome anyone that may be new to the channel uh the way that i do things here on my side of the planet is i am an empath i'm intuitive and i'm also clairaudient so during my readings i play music and the way that it works the name of the song lyrics within the song maybe even the name of the artist timestamp on the clock it will all correlate to what i may be channeling intuitively as well as what shows up with the tarot cards and it all just blends very beautifully uh my spiel here is eat the fish spit out the bones if the reading doesn't apply just let it fly by uh, my readings are timeless so whether you see this video three years from now two months from now seven weeks from now it was all a matter of divine timing beloveds so as i said we're gonna delve in see what we got coming in going out going on all right i do want to go ahead and um just call upon the elements of water fire earth air ether and spirit ashe i ask our beautiful angels archangels ancestors ascended masters spirit guides deities animal totems earth mother gaia universe source the divine most high god our creator to shine a powerful powerful message of love and of light i call personally upon baba obatala mama oya and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is, so mote it be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. So we have, it is officially five o'clock on the dot. And we have Music Soul Child. And this is called Best uh best friend so for some of you all with that five reference i'm getting the throat chakra so some of you all may receive a message uh from someone that may be finding themselves attracted to you uh maybe you're going to receive some form of communication that's going to change things maybe you will find that you and your friend are at odds um it says best friend so this could be perhaps a best friend that you grew up with um perhaps this is your best friend your husband your wife your girlfriend your boyfriend um you know because you're 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 better half tends to be your best friend they're the ones that you would go to first uh if there was something going on whether you're happy or you're sad mad or you know overjoyed whatever the case may be so with this best friend and that number five uh maybe some of you all will be taking things um you know to the next level with a best friend so maybe that friend is turning into a lover um maybe this is someone uh who you know you may share a lot of things in common and you just may find yourselves looking at this person uh with a little more um admiration or adoration or maybe this is how they're looking at you uh maybe their feelings have grown uh maybe this is someone you've known since a youth and you know you all have like gone through different stages in your lives and now this person uh is finally uh coming to the realization that perhaps maybe they love you maybe they care about you because in the song that is absolutely um the premise of the song that is what the song is um expressing so we're going to see what the card have to say uh, the way that I'm gonna do the reading today is I'm gonna choose five cards from five different decks and I'm going to uh I'm going to um, clarify those messages. Uh, so we're going to get a card for the overall energy. Who or what you're attracting to you, how they feel about you, what's hidden in the energy, and of course the outcome. And then we will clarify those messages. Ashe. So we're going to start off with the um, numerology deck. 
So let's see what we got coming and going out going on. So look at that. Beautiful. So we have number 77. Uh, and this, whenever I see double numbers, I always feel like this is you and another person mirroring one another. So just as I was feeling like, you know, if this is a best friend, they may communicate because seven plus seven is 14. That's five. So that is really uh, saying someone may be expressing that they feel a deeper, more profound connection to you. They, they have this chemistry. Maybe you feel it too. I feel like this is someone uh, that thinks about you a lot, dreams about you. Maybe you've been having certain dreams, lucid dreams, uh, but this is someone really up in their head about how to express or how to communicate that they feel a sacred or spiritual connection to you uh, with music. I feel like it will be music to your ears when this person says that, because maybe perhaps you feel the same, especially with these being like, you know, mirrored numbers. That is like a mirrored reflection reflection of this person and you uh, having the same sentiment, the same emotion. Um, I do feel that this is beyond just physical attraction um, or just, you know, something minute or, you know, small as that. I feel like it's really a, a very strong soul tie that you have to this person or some really sacred bond um, that you have with this person. So let's tap in. So we have on the split we have the number 91 and this says surrender. So maybe some of you all have been fighting this um, attraction um, because of the simple fact that you felt like, nah, that's my friend. I can't take it any further than that. Maybe you are looking at this uh, in a completely different scope like you you can't see yourself with this person because maybe if you did grow with this person it's like they they have become like almost like your best friend to the like your family you know and so you you fear perhaps losing that friend um you fear messing up or tainting the connection by taking things to the next level i feel spirit is the one telling you to take the leap or to surrender to not try to control perhaps what you're feeling or what you know both of you are mirroring one another which means that you're both thinking of the other very in tune psychically very spiritually aligned i also feel that there is a sense of like going on similar journeys spiritual journeys in your lives which has strengthened your bond with this person and i just saw 707 when i said that on the time clock on the um clock so i do feel like someone may come back uh maybe someone from your past because we have kindred and kindred is like they're, they're they're called kindred the family soul so i feel like this is spirit saying this could be like a kindred spirit this could be a soulmate and I feel like there's something that's very familiar with. Do you remember? So maybe this person will remind you of a time, um, you know, from when you were young, uh, just kind of trying to take you down memory lane because they're having memories of love with this parenting on the bottom of the deck, 63, uh, that breaks down to nine. So maybe there were certain situations that came in between the connection. Maybe some of you all were in relationships, marriages. Uh, and so they didn't want to, um, they didn't want to, uh, I don't feel like they wanted to risk the connection. Maybe this is someone who potentially could be the mother or father to your child, or maybe someone uh, is dealing with or was dealing with a situation that caused them a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety. And so that's why they never pursued you or pursued this situation. Maybe they judged a situation because you may have shared in confidence because this is a best friend you may have shared in confidence what you were going through with the mother or father to your child and this is something that caused them a lot of stress and anxiety maybe they advised you in the best way uh, that they could without um, intervening or stepping over their the, you know the boundaries like they didn't want to do anything to taint the connection but I feel like there is a lot of stress and anxiety um, you know, that someone is harboring or, you know, someone is definitely kind of like ruminating. Maybe someone was dealing with the mother or father to their child uh, and it caused them a lot of angst and a lot of frustration. And so maybe someone who was dealing with... Um, 
you know, some issues with the mother or father to their child. Uh, you know, they maybe that's why they couldn't see beyond that person just being their friend because maybe they were trying to reconcile or, you know, rekindle a connection with you know, the mother or father to their child. And so they just couldn't see anyone beyond that person. And maybe now that, that, that connection with that 63, that's nine, that's the highest number of change. And so maybe they tried so much with that person. Um, and now they're finally like establishing boundaries, or maybe you finally, uh, gotten to a place where there's boundaries. You're no longer pursuing that that mother or father to your child, or maybe this, that, that, that connection in and of itself, there's, there's a change, there's a shift in that. So now maybe someone can, uh, you know, kind of come in and say what they've been wanting to say, say what they've been holding back, you know, cause I feel like they've been holding back for years. You know, I'm hearing that song holding back the years, you know, by simply read, I'm hearing that song, the beautiful song. So I'm hearing that. So this person for years has been holding back perhaps their feelings, holding back from expressing something, repressing their feelings, repressing or suppressing how they truly felt about you is what I'm gathering. Because with this, do you remember? I feel like there's a sense of nostalgia, you know, and as I said earlier, like memories of love and what we have right here. Um, playing right now is D'Angelo one Mogin. So I do feel like this is someone that does want to um, try, you know, this is somebody that may want to try with you, you know, so maybe you tried before and look at that one. So this is one new beginnings. So someone's definitely attracted to you um, with this one Mogin and then the number one new beginnings. This is like a fresh start. Someone definitely is very attractive because that number one is a very felicious number. So I do get someone is like hot and bothered. Um, and if you look at D'Angelo, maybe, you know, this is somebody who has a, like a beautiful physique build, just beautiful bone structure, sexy, handsome, beautiful, t very attractive. And this is someone that does want, uh, you know, a fresh start. They want to try. So maybe this friend, you know, maybe you initially when you, uh, you know, when you met this person, maybe you started off, uh, you know, kind of like, you know, kind of flirty and, and then it just kind of devolved into friendship because maybe you had a baby mom or a baby daddy, um, you know, or a mother's father, mother's daughter. I like to say that sometimes depending on the energy, but you know, maybe you had some lingering, uh, situation or, uh, some residual feelings for the mother or father to your child. And so that connection that you initially was building, it just had to kind of just, default back into friendship mode. This person I feel is ready for a new start because maybe now they see that you're finally done with someone. Um, a, a situation, a chapter in your life is finally over or you've completed some sort of cycle and now they want a fresh start. So this is a new beginning. The overall energy is you are having some sort of fresh start. You're on the precipice of this new beginning and it's a very exciting time because I feel like you, you were, you you're taking action or you have materialized this or you have affected this change. So this is really showing that you've done the work um, to get to this point, to get to this very pivotal uh, point in your life. On the bottom of the deck, we have 41. Yet again, that's five. And it says self-discipline. So whoever you're attracting, whatever you're attracting, that is the person that wants to express love because there's green on the inside of this symbol. Five is associated with the hierophant. So that means this person has matured. Uh, maybe their communication style in the past, they weren't as uh, transparent or as open. Maybe they kind of held and blocked um, how they truly felt holding back. But now it's like they want to express. It's almost like I feel like they just have so much that they want to say. And this is someone that does want another chance, another opportunity. It is 5-11, uh, which is 7. So I do get a sense of this person feeling very... Um, very grounded, very balanced right now. And that's why they may want to come towards you. Uh, this person can see like a life of marriage, like they envision marriage. They envision a future. Um, this is someone that is a visionary also. So they can envision it all. They can envision this happiness. They could be trying to manifest you back into their life. Uh, this is someone I feel from your past. Uh, maybe this is someone you know, that, like I said, you know, that you have grown up with, but there is a sense of like, 
because this five and this one reduces to six. So that's the lovers. So this person may feel like you're their twin flame, their better half. You are the one um, that they could have a happily ever after or that happy house, happy spouse vibes. Uh, they feel like it's an equal exchange, like you're emotionally intelligent. Um, you may like the same music as them. Uh, they feel like you would be like they homie, their homie lover friend uh, type of energy. So that 41, expect communication from someone that you have not heard from in a while so let me get comfortable because we got some messages all right so let's tap in beloved let's put that back here so one more again someone wants another chance that could even be someone um you know like uh you know if this is like a past love for instance with that parent and someone may be coming back and expressing that they want to try again they want to marry you uh we have intensification here on the bottom of the deck and so i do feel like someone's feelings are intensifying and i feel like it's intensifying because of the energy that we're in right now right now we're in the scorpio full moon uh pluto is um, in retrograde mercury's in retrograde there's also a solar eclipse we're in taurus season so there's a lot going on celestially as above so below as within so without so there's definitely these emotions these feelings are intensifying when you're in scorpio energy you're going to have to kind of navigate the the emotions you're going to have to navigate um in terms of what you're thinking and feeling energetically so what we have on the split is we have the pentacle and it says respect so i do feel like someone's um someone's coming to realize like they respect your gangsta they see your worth you know that like now they see your worth there's two four five pentacles so this could be someone you know in the past that could have maybe they judged you maybe there was someone who rejected another person maybe there was some sort of unrequited love circumstance now there's like you've earned someone's respect you've garnered someone's respect and their feelings and emotions have only intensified you know through your absence i'm hearing that like you know if you haven't heard from this person if this was someone that was like a friend or someone that you did confide in uh it would be like you know even if this is like a female who had a male friend who was like their confidant someone that they could lean on and call in those thick moments you know in those um trying times and it's like y'all fell out because you were still with your your children's father or children's mother and that children's mother or children's father felt threatened by that relationship that friendship so you could have like kind of you know um you could have kind of like cut that person off ghosted them or y'all kind of fell out because of that uh relationship you were in but someone's feelings you know through this absence it's almost as if a sense of like you know the silence is is deafening to this person and and now they're feeling even more um you know more uh you know motivated and inspired uh to reach out to communicate so let's tap in so let's see who or what is our beautiful collective family attracting to them let me get a message of peace power and protection spirit who or what is our beautiful collective energy attracting to them let me get a message of peace power and protection so you got two messages to clarify and we have in the bottom of the deck summer so someone is watching watching you and i feel like communication may come during the summer time so summer officially starts 6 21 so that's next month so someone may communicate with you next month in the month of june um depending on your you know locality um so someone will reach out i feel like right now this almost like see this look what we got here so someone didn't i say someone is manifesting you so this is what we got someone's definitely attractive because attracted to you whether you are a uh, feminine or masculine that that lord god lady goddess is the empress in this card so it says here um you know watch towers so someone's watching you and finding you to be very attractive very beautiful uh very maternal energy uh very powerful master manifester with this spell i do feel someone is uh trying to manifest uh this connection back um maybe this is someone who definitely and look what's underneath that i didn't even see that this is a, a secret admirer that's trying to manifest you back I definitely get a sense of someone that is trying to manifest this divine feminine or divine masculine back in their life that you have a secret admirer someone is watching you from a distance i get a sense of a distance like this distance between the two of you this person has seen your growth like i feel this person in the past um 
maybe they didn't see your worth and value maybe that's why the connection just always was friend y'all was like you know y'all y'all kind of put each other in the friend zone um really didn't you know pursue anything beyond friendship but now this person is seeing you in a whole new light because you have like transformed you've changed something with this new beginning it's like i feel like you've owned your power so who or what you're attracting to you is someone that is keeping tabs um someone that is uh you know, keeping their eye on you um, at a distance, you know, and I feel like there's no communication, which is why they're at a distance. There could have been some sort of tower, some sort of fallout between you and this person, but they've watched your evolution, your growth. So that's powerful. And it just got real dark in this room, by the way. So the cards that actually flew out for you is we have incubation. So there, there we go. So Astara is really speaking to not taking action, but this is an energy. If you look, this is like a grown person, just kind of like just nestled in this womb, in the womb of the earth. So this is about being grounded. So someone is not taking action uh, because they are meditating to get things straight. They're doing some, some introspective work, some reflective work. Um, this looks like a masculine's body, uh, you know, but it could be a feminine depending on how you see it, depending on your circumstance. But someone is literally like, that's almost like hermit mode to me. Um, learning, growing, um, looking back in awareness, um, taking accountability, taking responsibility, responsibility uh doing those internal self audits uh this is about not taking action until there is a sense of confidence we have a uh, grunique playing anything um so she's singing anything so i feel like this person before they take action before they do anything they want to make sure that they're coming in solid you know the hermit is what i gather from this energy uh the hermit kind of like unplugs, disconnects, uh, and silences all, you know, of that outside noise so that he could go within, you know, uh, the answers you seek are always found within. And that's exactly what this person here is hearing very loudly is their higher self, their God, uh, frequency, they're tapped into that Christ consciousness. And so with this one spirit is telling them you have them the ability to manifest your desired outcomes. Um, whatever this circumstance is, it's almost like they are, you know, being born again. This is like, a rebirth they're preparing to be born again because this was a person that has already been born so maybe someone had to learn like i said this is someone had to be sat down to be taught lessons uh because we did have this 41 self-discipline so someone had to be taught a lesson so maybe spirit has sat someone down so that they can be more um you know, uh, be more aware, not only of their own perspective, but be able to see things from other people's vantage point. Uh, like I said, be able to take accountability, responsibility for their actions. And then we have that intensification card. So whoever this person is, I feel like because there's no communication, all they had was their own thoughts, their own feelings. They had to, you know, learn to navigate that energy. And what they realized is, like I said, you know, the silence was deafening. Not hearing from you was deafening. Um, you know, not uh, expressing these feelings uh, was almost, it's like painful. So I feel like this is someone that does uh, come to some sort of realization of their true feelings, of their real attraction, their real desire. Uh, and I feel like this is someone who thinks of you so much that, you know, if you think of something so much, that thought becomes reality. So they are thinking of you in a sense um, where they could be manifesting you, manifesting this connection. So that's powerful. So with this lady goddess here on the bottom of the deck, I do feel this person does find you very, very attractive, very beautiful. And we have right now Robert Glasper uh, featuring Jill Scott. And this is called uh calls so it's called calls so some of you all will receive a call i was picking up a call i was picking up somebody you know communicating expressing something so someone is going to reach out uh they may literally call you and express these feelings these emotions uh someone you haven't heard from in a while because i feel like this person has been mia um i feel like you and this person have not been uh communicating uh for quite some time so let's tap in beloved let's see what we got coming and going on we're gonna pull the energy for how they feel about you 
So look what we have on the bottom of the energy oracle. We have strategy. So that's why this person is sitting here. They're not taking action until they can strategize the appropriate time and action to come towards you, to confess, express, communicate what they feel. This 21 is uh, associated with the um, world card in traditional tarot. So I do feel like this is someone as I said, who's had to learn, who's had to grow. This is someone who's gone through um, great lessons, many lessons. And if you look, there's a key here. So Spirit is saying this person may have the key to your heart. Uh, this 21 breaks down to three, which is associated with this Empress. Maybe this person realizes you have the key to their heart. Uh, and this is why they are uh, really trying to strategize how to come towards you because the Empress and an Emperor, they know their worth. They know their value. So they're not going to settle for less so this is someone that's why they had to take the time you know to grow they had to take the time to mature you know because that's why this this uh very adult body uh appears to be in the womb um because this is about a rebirth so when you have a rebirth this is about transforming whether it is your belief systems your ideologies your thought processes getting rid of old habits bad habits thoughts whatever it is that was hindering or blocking you in the past that's why this person is here they're going through some sort of growing pain and with the self-discipline this is something that is going to teach them you know um you know how to be spiritually strong spiritually aligned um how to express their truth how to be emotionally intelligent this time around i feel that's why there's a strategy the angels ancestors are literally you know guiding this connection and conspiring i feel behind the scenes i do feel there's distance because behind this it appears to be like a map so i do feel this distance i feel that there's distance not only physical distance where you may live in one location and they live in the other or, um, but I feel that there's also distance in forms of, you know, communication. Uh, you have not spoken to this person in quite some time. Maybe you met this person when you were in your twenties or, uh, you know, uh, someone who could, uh, like I said, this could be someone that's just at a distance. That's what I'm I'm gathering. And they're trying to strategize. They're planning, preparing, strategizing how to come towards you, um, how they feel about you as you are emperor status. Very wise. They also have seen that you have gained a deeper, more profound understanding of yourself. And that's why they're trying to match your flag because they see you as an empress. And as I said, an empress and an emperor, uh, you know, I said empress because that three is associated with the empress. But if you are an emperor, they see you as someone who is in your divine femininity divine masculinity and so the best thing you can do is to match that person's fly so that's why spirit is showing them and guiding them how to do so uh, but I also feel like this person realizes that you know your worth you know thyself so you're not going to settle just as I said and with Embrya Maxwell as I'm speaking of this person in incubation you know so that's what this person is doing you could be dealing with someone named Maxwell and so this is called embryo. So this this is definitely like a rebirth. Maybe a child, uh, you know, drew a wedge between you and this person. Maybe you had another child after you met this person, and that's why you just grew distant, uh, even more distant. Maybe, you know, you'll find out. Um, you know, some of you all, I, I, because Astara in a different deck is the fertility card. So maybe you're just birthing new ideas, birthing new ways of life. They could see you as just a very divine mind, um, very creative, very artistic, you know, just birthing. Maybe you've just transformed so much in this person's eyes. Uh, I do feel like they're also mustering up the strength and the courage because that three is also associated with the solar plexus. And the solar plexus is the sun that shines within. So that sun is, speaks to your courage confidence your will your determination your drive um your courage you know uh it's also you know uh considered like the second brain so maybe this person is trusting their inner win wisdom uh trusting you know that inner compass uh before taking action and they're listening to you know their their angels gods so let's see how does this person feel about our collective energy we get a message of peace power and protection spirit thank you you got two messages 
And so we have, look at that seventh chakra. So that seventh chakra, this is 41. Didn't I say this person communicates with you? And I spoke to the crown. So the crown chakra with that seven, seven that opened up the reading, that crown chakra, this is what this person is doing. They are communicating because that 41 reduces to five. So they communicate with you telepathically, intuitively via your dreams. They're thinking of you constantly. And I feel like that's the reason why maybe some of you all are picking up on this person energetically um, but I do know that this person knows how intuitive you may be that's why they're communicating how they feel about you is walking away so they feel like you've walked away from them the connection um, they do feel like you may have abandoned them or rejected them because I was getting that also with this 41 the five because I was seeing like the five of Pentacles in my eyes uh, so maybe they feel like you've chosen another person over them or rejected them uh, with 17 action I feel like this person is prepared to take action just as I said because now that they're more disciplined now that they've taken the time to meditate to get things straight now that their feelings are intensifying the only thing that they can do is to take action because they feel that you're their wish fulfillment this is someone that will come in unexpectedly um, you will just get abrupt news and it's going to lead to a victory beloved so how they feel about you is they're coming in for the vic they're not coming in to play they're not coming in to waste your time this is someone intentional and you see how she's looking back because this person is going to like they're going to you know um gain your attention like this is a let me get this so that can make sense so it was like whatever they're saying is going to grasp your attention you see how this she's looking back and these horses are running towards them and remember i said the chariot because i saw the chariot earlier with that seven seven um that's associated with the chariot and there's typically um on the traditional tarot deck uh, a black and a white horse on the chariot so this is like someone rushing in towards you uh you know to let you know how they feel uh this is someone with whom you are you know you've walked away from them um maybe in the past uh, like i said maybe you had felt the need to set up boundaries but you see the gate is still ajar you know so it's almost as if you're 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 walking away but you're looking back waiting so maybe this is someone that you too have an interest in maybe you're waiting um you know you were expecting them to come it's almost as if you're expecting them to come or expecting someone to to follow behind you um and they are like this is a wish fulfillment this is like very strong um, energy coming your way and we have um, tweet and this is called turn the lights off so with turn the lights off definitely there was some things that were going on uh, you know in the dark but that 28 there uh, with this victory I do feel like that's really speaking to this one new beginning so there had to be an ending every ending denotes a new beginning maybe they were waiting for you to walk away like I said earlier you know from your children's mother children's father baby daddy baby mama girlfriend wife whatever they were waiting for you to get rid of that other person so that they could take action so that they could express what they want because they do feel like you're the yin to their yang the yang to their yin a wish fulfillment I always liken that number eight that 17 breaks down to eight so i always liken that to like a star a wish fulfillment a blessing an answered prayer so someone does feel uh all of that about you about this connection they do feel like you are uh someone very special someone uh that they're very attracted to um this person with that tweet uh i'm getting like you know this is someone that may uh, message you perhaps even online if you have some sort of online account perhaps this person will tweet you DM you text message you I get a sense of a message so let's see what else we have so what's hidden in the energy for my beloved oh wow stop playing memories of love and i said that verbatim this is someone from your past that you know the six is associated with the lovers so it doesn't necessarily have to just be love maybe this is someone like i said uh from your past uh this is someone that holds on to you to the connection this is someone that has not let you go this is someone that definitely feels you're the yin to their yang uh because this 
six is the lovers and the lovers is depicted as a masculine feminine energy uh over you know there's a, there's an angel overseeing that union so that's how they see you that's how they feel about you and with memories of love this person has come to the realization that their feelings have intensified so much so that they are calling it love they love you and this time apart this time while uh meditating this time you know doing that introspective work that self-analysis they've come to this realization and they hold on to you they hold dear hold you dear to them with this water wow this beautiful see it's the truth they realize the truth of the matter and with this six and this 20 that breaks down to eight so they're ready to come back this is someone ready to come back into your life maybe like i said you've walked away so 27 is nine and this eight this is someone that's ready to you know come back so they're trying to you know turn back the hands of time is what i'm hearing in my mind's eye because this is someone that has discovered the truth i feel like in the past they could have been in two minds they could have been confused conflicted even but now you know with the time as i said the the time away the time apart it has like literally it's like deafening you know the silence not hearing from you not communicating to you it has been very difficult um to not communicate so let's tap in and see what's happening you know um behind the scenes spirit what's hidden in the energy what's happening behind the scenes let me get a message of peace power and protection spirit for our beautiful collective and look at that solar plexus i spoke to the solar plexus so they are kind of mustering up the strength courage and wisdom i'm hearing the word rehearsing so this person could literally be like rehearsing what they're feeling you know rehearsing their lines so it's almost like they're preparing because remember that strategy card that we saw um when we first picked up the deck and that could also be oh wow so it's right underneath it's right oh wow stop playing let me show you let me show you all the cards that's on the bottom of the uh energy oracle deck so i was speaking to remember i showed you this card when i told you that same person because remember 41 that's the person that i was picking up on who had to learn some lessons and so they've learned to trust their intuition they've learned to be more discerning and so they also know that you're psychic they're psychic so that's how they communicate that's the way that they could communicate that's what they're accepting for now that's the same five so they're ch using uh some ability to channel a message to you um you know to communicate communicate a message to you uh, via psychic psychic powers via dreams um, this is a very cerebral energy look at this so they are communicating didn't I say the throat chakra so this card is here so they are communicating with you they will reach out eventually but they have not mustered up the courage yet because they are still foolproofing a plan and they're foolproofing this plan because they are getting their courage together. They're getting their lines together. I was picking up like, um, you know, I was picking up the fact that like this is someone rehearsing. So this person could literally be like kind of like trying to, you know, get their words together, get, get what they're going to say together. And even look here. Let me show you the card that's underneath even all of that. This is the thinking woman. So this is how they see you. You know, they see you as very intelligent, very wise. But this 47 breaks down to 11, you know, and see that transformation. Remember, I told you that they seen your growth. They seen how you have evolved and you've evolved into this divine feminine. You have evolved. You're, you're very wise. You've learned valuable lessons from heartache, from pain, you know. And so this person now sees, you know, that you are more um, adept to, you know, choosing decisions that are going to take you on the path that's going to make you happy so you're prioritizing you this time around you're not going to allow this energy have someone you know causing you com you know mental conflict or confusion you know so this person definitely maybe they were in the past feeling indecisive or maybe they felt that you treated them um you know like an option you know whatever the case may be i i strongly get a sense like somebody is uh attempting to strategize a plan so they could be you know mustering up the strength courage and wisdom to come towards you to take action to say what they feel to express what they desire so that's powerful so let's tap in beloveds let's see what we got coming and going out going on for the collective let me get a message of peace power and protection and we have um surface 
and this is called falling in love. So I usually like to say rising in love. So this person has absolutely fallen for you. They're smitten. They're bitten by the smitten bug for real, for real. Like I was feeling that this person's feelings were, they were intensifying because they've come to the realization that they love you, especially with that memories of love. And I was feeling attraction and beauty. And so all of the things that I was saying is coming out. So that's powerful. I love when the spirit confirms. So let's tap in. So let's see. I like to cut my deck three times, three different directions just to get a clear and concise message. So on the bottom of the deck, we have the five. And what does that say? Throat chakra. And we just saw throat chakra. I told y'all when we started the reading, it was five. And I told you that's, that's the throat chakra. Expect to hear from someone. So what's hidden in the energy is someone is attempting co to communicate with you. Um, you know, but first, before they take action and communicate with you, they want to make sure that they are um, feeling confident that they are getting their thoughts together. So that's why I was feeling like, you know, someone could potentially be like almost rehearsing their lines, um, you know, kind of like anticipating what you're going to say and having like their lines together because they know you're expecting them, you know, with this energy here, you walked away. It says walking away. So you haven't walked away yet. You're walking away. And so that's why this person is like feeling rushed. They feel very, you know, much like they got to take action quickly because this could potentially be a missed opportunity with this throat chakra what's hidden is prepare for a message prepare for some communication beloveds definitely prepare for some communication and we have on the bottom of the deck temptation so this could be lust this could be uh someone that lusts after you or they could just be really attracted to you like i was saying earlier you know with that 15 that six that's that same person that has memories of love maybe you all were intimate because i was picking up a sense of like maybe you started something but you didn't finish it because maybe there was a uh you know you still have some residual uh you know uh shenanigans going on with a mother or father to your child so you never could take it further with that person that was your best friend Air parentheses. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? But with this temptation, I feel like, you know, be mindful. Trust your intuition because that 15 reduces to six. So don't allow someone to come back and tempt you because, you know, some of y'all could get played for Booba the Fool. Or maybe this is someone who's just that, that much. Wow. Look at this. This is crazy. We got the one, which is the new beginning. We got the fool. And then we got the temptation here. So just be mindful. Be mindful, like literally, like trust your intuition when it comes to uh, someone from your past, because this could be someone kind of like obsessed with you. I was picking up someone watching you because you have that watchtower. So this could be someone watching you, you know, and it doesn't mean that it's like creepy energy, but it could be with this devil or this could just speak to someone who's just like really just, you know, kind of lusting and obsessive over you, you know, possessive even over you, you know, maybe this is even, um, someone you could have met at your place of employment. You could have met this person at your job, or you will meet this person at a job. So let's tap in. Let's get the outcome energy beloveds. All right. Do I want to use this? I want to use this other deck. I want to use goddess. God. You know what? Let me use moonology. That's the first deck I picked up and it's Scorpio full moon. So let me see what we got. All right, look at this. Stop playing. Communication is key. So this person, this could have been someone in the past that you could have felt like, you know, maybe they said things that you didn't feel they meant. Maybe you felt like they just, you know, kind of like, um, you know, because, you know, a lot of times people associate like, con you know, Gemini's to have like a contradicting personality, but it's because they have a dual personality. So maybe this person has Gemini in their chart, but with communication is key. I feel like that's what they're preparing to do is to communicate because we're about to pull the outcome and the communication is key is here. So maybe during this full moon. Maybe during um, Gemini season, which is next month, this person will reach out. Remember, we had summertime. So that summertime, you know, I, I mentioned 621. So maybe this person will reach out in June because we got new moon in Gemini. And this communication will happen will happen in, in um, the month of June, maybe perhaps on the 5th of June. 
very powerful energy. So let's tap in. And we have Christopher Williams, and this is called I'm Dreaming. So someone's absolutely dreaming of you, and this is probably why their feelings are intensifying because they're having a bunch of dreams. You know, especially with that 7-7, seven, seven, that's what I was picking up. Somebody's dreaming of you. Someone's name could be Christopher or Williams. And we have the energy is gaining momentum along with the intensification card. So this, this is coming in. I told y'all with that chariot energy, I was feeling like something's coming in very abruptly. And it's about to go down. Oh, it's about to happen, beloveds. Oh, this is powerful. So let's tap in. Beautiful souls, what we have coming and going on for the collective energy. What messages do you have for our beautiful collective energy, soul tribe, soul family? We get a message of peace, power, and protection. Spirit. Shade. So we got two messages here. It says it's time to take action. So, yep, this is what the Scorpio full moon pluto energy is encouraging it's all about transformation shifts it is definitely a time for change so this aries energy aries they are action oriented they don't take no mess especially when you are you know just radiating all this love light power beauty wise dome creativity you're just like seen as very maternal or paternal and someone is feeling very encouraged and motivated to take action they feel they feel um, confident enough. They feel th they're asserting themselves. And we have your commitment is being tested. So someone is absolutely coming in and they're going to express how they feel. And spirit is going to see, you know, how real it, how the, real this person is. Because maybe your response is not going to be what they uh, expect initially. And so you, you, the way you are wired right now is you want to see some action behind the words. You know, you could come and communicate all day, but communication isn't just verbal. Communication is action. It's touch. It's shows of kindness, you know, gestures of love. So you, you, you may, that's why you sitting here like, okay, yes, you know, cause you're expecting this conversation. You're expecting someone to come back intuitively you're you're picking up on this person's energy because they're sending you messages telepathically and intuitively and they're dreaming about you constantly so it's like yeah you're you're gonna see you know what type of time this person is on what we have on the bottom of the deck it says prosperity lies ahead and this is taurus energy so you all if you're expecting um you know, any type of news from perhaps a job or maybe if you have been, you know, uh, working on different prospect, uh, prospects, projects. I feel like this is Spirit's way of saying and assuring that everything is going to work out in your favors, beloved. So this is your reading. I'm not going to go any further. I feel like this is clear and concise. I don't want to drag it on, but you have a beautiful energy. Someone's coming in to talk to you. Uh, they have something they want to say and get off of their chest. This is a familiar face. This is someone that you have history with. This is someone that may feel like they have unfinished business. Like the two of you started something you know, and you didn't finish it. So this is uh, why they are definitely coming. They're ready to take action. Action came out twice. So they're not playing, beloved. This time around, it's going to be different. I feel like you're going to see something different in whoever this person is. But this is your reading, beautiful collective. I will that the message is uh, resonated for you. Um, if you like the way I read, if you like the way I vibe, definitely feel uh free to hit the like button, hit the share, definitely hit the bell notification so you know whenever I upload. And uh, if you feel so inclined, subscribe to the Soul Tribe Soul Family. These videos will be coming out more frequently. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, peace, beloveds.